You read the title, or at least I hope you did. These are nine of my favorite must-have Windows apps that maybe you'd like as well. Also, I just realized that this icon was intended for a Mac. Uh, let's get started. So I just wanted to mention that the majority of these apps are available on the new Microsoft Store for Windows 11 and 10. So if you don't already have the new Microsoft Store, go to the Downloads and Updates section of the old Microsoft Store, click on Check for Updates, and after the Microsoft Store update is finished, you should be met with a new design. That's when you know you have the updated version. Okay, now let's get started, for real. So the first app on this list is called Quick Look. It's available on the Microsoft Store, and if you've ever used the Quick Look feature on a Mac before, then th this app requires zero explanation because it works exactly the same way that it does on a Mac, except it's been redesigned to fit the Windows Fluent Design language. If you don't know what Quick Look is, Basically, you go into your file explorer, you single click a file to highlight it, then you click on the space bar, and it opens up that file in a little preview window. You can view it, and then you tap the space bar or the close button to exit out of the window. So it's just a little preview thing. So setting up this app is as simple as using Quick Look on Mac OS. You download the, you download the app from the Microsoft Store, you open it one time and it is automatically configured to run at startup. I don't think you can change that if you download the Microsoft Store version, but why would you want to? Anyways, it's the whole reason you downloaded the app. And you can also right click the system tray icon and find new plugins for the Quick Look app. So you can see I'm right clicking here and I'm clicking find new plugins and it redirects you to this little GitHub page where it gives you a whole list of different plugins, like a folder viewer plugin, an office viewer plugin, and an EPUB plugin. So it's pretty cool. You just download the plugin from the releases section, this QL plugin file, and you click on the space bar while Quick Look is open. It opens it up in a window, and then you click this little button here, and it automatically installs the plugin. Now you restart Quick Look by quitting the app and opening it again, and the plugin's installed and that, that's it. So Quick Look, an incredibly useful app. I, I don't like the fact that it's not there on Windows natively. They should really, 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 really add that because I found it to be very useful on both Mac OS and Windows. So I'm giving this app a solid 10 out of 10. It's, it's perfect in every way for its use case. So the next app is called Twinkle Tray and Twinkle Tray is built with the sole purpose to allow you to change the brightness of your monitor inside of Windows. And by change the brightness, I don't mean adjust the exposure of Windows itself so that it looks like you're changing the brightness of the monitor. No, I mean literally going into the monitor settings and changing the brightness for you. So let's say I set Twinkle Tray to 65 brightness. It shows 65 brightness in my monitor settings. Then I go and change it to 45 it shows 45 in the monitor settings. So it's actually communicating with the monitor um, via the cable it's connected to adjust the brightness. And you can even set brightness, you can even set the brightness to change at different times of the day. So let's say in my case, from 7 a.m. to 4.45 p.m., I like my brightness set to 65. And from 4.45 p.m. to 7 a.m., I like my brightness set to 45. So yeah. It's pretty cool. It does require a bit more setup, so I am giving this a nine out of 10, but it's overall a really good app for people that have a standalone monitor and want to change their brightness from inside of Windows. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. Twinkle Tray is available on the Microsoft Store, so yeah. So this next app comes directly from Microsoft. It is called Microsoft Power Toys. It is only available on the new Microsoft Store, so no other versions, and it's in preview right now, according to the app, but this app comes with a whole load of features. So just to name a few, there's Power Toys Run, which is Spotlight Search for Windows, and it looks exactly like Spotlight Search. Um, you activate it the same way as you activate Spotlight Search. I think there's a lawsuit in coming here. Okay, never mind. Um, there's also Color Picker, which is exactly what it says. You use the command Windows Shift C, to pull up like a color little dialog box. And once you tap the part on the screen where your color is, it gives a whole menu of the list 
of like hex codes, the hex code of that color, the RGB values of that color, and the color's name. So pretty cool tool. There's also File Explorer add-ons, so you can enable File Explorer to show PDF previews and SVG previews and more. So there are more features, so I'd go, I'd recommend you go to the Microsoft Store, download Power Toys, and try all those features out, but we got to move on to the next app for the sake of time. Now, I'd just like to mention that these next two apps are purely for aesthetics. So these two apps provide little to no new features in terms of what you already have from stock Windows. So the next app is called Files V2. It's available on the Microsoft Store and you may have heard about it a lot already. So it's supposed to be a fixed file explorer. So the Windows 11 has a new design. Um, it's all it's matching more of the Windows Fluent design language, but the file explorer just doesn't have enough updates. They have updated the menu bar slightly, but it's just not enough. So Files V2 revamps the entire file explorer and there's even an option to set it as the default file manager by modifying the registry. That does require administrative privileges though. So you download the app from the Microsoft Store, you open it, and you instantly have a new file explorer. You can customize it, though you can customize it any way you want. Um, and there's even a new columns layout. So you may have seen this in the Finder on Mac. But there's this column, there's this columns layout. So if you're navigating in a deep folder with a lot of different submenus, um, it shows in like a column list all those folders. And yeah, that's basically files v2. So I highly recommend you go and use this app because I use it. It's amazing. I've installed it on every device, uh, all of my friends' devices. So yeah, it's definitely a good app in my opinion. Now this next app is going to become a thing of the past once the new volume and brightness hardware indicators appear in the stable release of Windows 11 later this year. So modern flyouts preview is an attempt to just modernify. Okay, that that's not a word. Um, uh, okay, what was what is it? Just enhance the volume and brightness indicators for Windows 11 and I think 10. So you download it from the oh my god, I hate I hate when this happens. So you download it from the Microsoft Store. You run it and it immediately launches at startup. You can customize the app and where the volume and brightness indicators are on the screen. So I put it at the bottom center, just where the new volume indicators are in the dev channel currently. And yeah, that's basically it. That is the entire app. Just enhance the, enhance the volume and brightness indicators for Windows 10 and 11. Good app in my opinion. I like it. It just works. All right, we got four more apps here. So the sixth app is VLC Media Player. And a lot of you may already be using this app as it's been out for God knows how much time. And it's now even available on the Microsoft Store as an x86 application. The new one only. So you get it. And the goal of VLC Media Player is to flawlessly play any audio or video file in existence, except for protected ones, which, yeah, it's gonna have a problem doing that. Um, so even though the new media player for Windows 11 is coming out just this month, it's, it's just not enough. It's not enough. VLC, VLC media player will still be the king of media players. So good app. Definitely download it if you have, if you just want that extended functionality um, for media players. So yeah, moving on to the next app. So the next app is userbenchmark.exe. Yes, it is one of the two applications in this entire list that aren't available on the Microsoft Store. So it is a portable app. That's cool. No installation required. It just sits in your downloads folder or wherever you want it to be. So you run the app and the goal of it is to make benchmarking easy. It runs a bunch of tests, it runs some videos, some graphics, and then it prompts you to play a game where it's basically shooting cubes. It's five points for red, three points for green, and one point for blue. 
and based on all of those uh, based on all those tests that user benchmark took it gives you an easy to read score in your web browser so pretty simple app definitely not geekbench or cinebench level but it it works it just works it's a good benchmarking app it shows you the results and that's basically all you need that's all an average user needs all right second to last this next one is called Crystal Disk Info. It's also a portable app. It shows you the health of your disk, and hence the name Crystal Disk Info. So my disk is currently at, uh, nice, <laughs> yeah boy. Basically everyone will be using the app for just checking the health of their disk and looking at this little um, bubble right here that says good or terrible if your disk is about to go, uh, flying into space and explode. Okay, that, that's not gonna happen. And now the final one is Rufus. This you can download from the Microsoft Store, any version from like Windows 10 and onwards. And the only reason I put Rufus at the bottom of this list is because it's only gonna be used by a small amount of people. So Rufus just helps you create bootable USBs so that you can boot from it. You mainly use this for creating bootable Windows USBs. So you copy all the files from your Windows ISO to your drive, um, it makes it bootable, and using any method of boot that you want, like either spamming a key on your keyboard during boot up or going through the advanced startup page in settings, you can boot from the Windows installer and like format your entire drive, start fresh. So it just works, it's a good app, and I like it. Um, all right, I guess that's the end of this list and the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, take a shower, do whatever you need to do. Please like and subscribe. Um, share, I guess. Share this with your friends because, I mean, I guess they want some Windows apps too. Unless they're a Mac user. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.